How are you, my people learners? Hope everyone is fine. Welcome back to yet another session of Primary for English. Now, can Jacob Viola taking you through? So, last time we ended when we were looking at the passive, active, and passive voice. We talked about what an active voice is and what a passive voice is. So, we looked at the passive voice. Active and passive voice in the simple present tense. We said when we are changing those sentences, we use am, is, and are, plus a past participle form of a verb. And I left you with an activity of which we are going to go through very quickly. Some, I will not go through all the numbers, but some of the numbers. For example, I'll go to number number three. I'll start with number three. It eats rats every night. Now, remember we said the doer of the action and then the object. But here, when you look at this sentence, it eats rats every night. It, what it are we meaning? The doer is not known. So since the doer is not known, when we are changing such a sentence into active voice, in most cases we tend to leave out the doer. Why? Because the doer is indefinite. So we may just say rats as the object now. Rats are eaten every night. We shall just say rats are eaten every night. Why? Because the doer is indefinite or the doer is not known. So in most cases when you look at pronouns, apart from pronoun I and we, other pronouns are indefinite. Apart from I, you and we. So for here we shall say John produces Joe Joan produces new albums yearly. Joan produces new albums. Yeah, maybe Joan is a musician and she produces albums. So what, what you shall have to look at the object. The object will be albums, new albums, then produces. So we shall say new albums are produced by Joan Yali. Because Joan is known so Joan is the doer. Here now we mentioned because Joan is a proper noun. Yeah. So even these others, our parents, this one is mentioned. Why? Because of our. That means the ones we are talking about, we know them very well. I ride sport bikes every evening. I, because you know yourself, you are talking about yourself. That means we shall say, Sport bikes are ridden by me every evening. Remember we said after the action, we put the doer and then we end with the, the adverb of time. So that was active and passive voice in the simple present. So in this session, we're going to look at active and passive voice in the present continuous tense. Remember we said the formula. I told you we need a formula. So here what is the formula now? We look at the helping verbs in the present continuous. The helping verbs in the present continuous are is, are, am. Those are helping verbs in the present continuous. Now, what will happen when you are changing active voice sentences into passive voice in the present continuous tense? Since it is a continuous tense, we are going to use the word being. We are going to have the helping verbs, then we add on the word being plus a past participle verb. You say is being, you complete. Are being, you put the past participle form. I'm being like that. We say helping verb plus 
being, then plus a past participle form of a verb. So we have our examples. Example one, we say, the farmer is plowing the field. The farmer is plowing the field. What is the object? The object here is the field. Remember we said the passive voice, the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice. Now the object is the field. So here we are going to say the field is being the field is being plowed by the farmer is plus being the field is being plowed by the farmer we come to number two i am drawing a picture i am drawing a picture the picture is the object so it is going to be the subject now in the passive voice so we are going to say a picture is being drawn by me remember we said I, as the pronoun, is definite because you know you are talking about yourself. So we change I into an object form of the pronoun, which is we, which is me. So we say a picture is being drawn by me. Number three says they are playing football. They is indefinite. We don't know they. That means this doer will be left out. So we shall say, football is being played. Football is being played. That is what we call the passive voice. What you should take note of is in the present continuous tense, we use the helping verbs and then we add on the word being. Then we come. Active and passive voice in the present perfect tense. Yes? The formula. What you should first know, the helping verbs. The helping verbs in the present perfect tense are has, then, have. What will happen? Helping verbs has, have, plus been. Then plus a past participle form of the verb. Now here we are adding on the word been. Has been. Have been. Like that. In the passive voice. Examples we have, the boys have eaten some of the cakes. The boys have eaten some of the cakes. What is going to be the passive voice? The passive voice is going to be some, now the object starts from some. Some of the cakes is the object. So we are going to say some of the cakes have been, have plus been. Some of the cakes have been eaten, past participle, eaten by the boys. But here, you can decide to use the boys or because of the article. This is a definite article. That means the boys you are talking about are known because of the article. The. But if you had said boys alone without this article, the, that means the doer would be indefinite or the doer would not be known but since we have used a definite article the that means the boys we are talking about we know them so here the doer is mentioned but when the sentence is boys have eaten some of the cakes just boys without this article then we would just say some of the cakes have been eaten i think now you have got that because of this definite article, the doer is known. We come here. Somebody has just broken a plate. Somebody has just broken a plate. Who is somebody? Do you know somebody? Somebody now becomes indefinite. The doer is not known. Because when I say somebody come, who is going to come? No one. Because there is no one called it. Somebody. So the doer is not known. That means the doer will be left out because we don't know that doer. We shall just say her plate has just been broken. Full stop. Her plate has just been broken because of the indefinite doer. 
So that is the active voice in the present perfect tense. What you should take note of is the formula. Has, have as the helping verbs. Then plus been. The main verb is put in the past participle. When you are introducing the doer of the action, we use by. And this by must come immediately after the action. Immediately after the verb, you put there the doer. Then you add on other things. The doer must come immediately after the action. As we have seen here, is being plowed. Plowed is the action. Then you put the doer. Is being drawn. Drawn is the action. Then you put the doer. So that is the passive and active voice in those tenses. So when you come and look at this other, this is the exercise you're going to find. What you should know is where is the object? Which is the object? Because remember, the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice. For example, here we are saying we are sticking pins on these dirty walls. On this dirty wall. Now someone will ask me what is the object. Here we have two objects. One, pins. Two, dirty wall. But what you should know is we are dealing with object one. Object one is our emphasis. So we shall say pins. Pins are being sticked. Pins are being sticked by us. Since we is you, even you, you are inclusive, we also is definite. So by us on this dirty wall. Pins are being sticked by us on this dirty wall. You should know. Whenever you find that we have two, two objects, you should know which object. In most cases, the first object is the emphasis. The first object, yes, like the here pins. The girl, the lazy girl is still peeling matoke. Matoke now becomes the object. So I hope to see people when they have tried out this exercise in their books. And after the exercise, we shall be coming back and see where we try to go wrong. And we make ourselves right. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe.